This is an ISSA evaluation. The evaluations I do for the International Scissor Sharpeners Association is totally subjective. I know the person who sharpened them, I did the damage on the shears, and in most cases I even know the equipment they've been using or who trained them. Now uh, I have a beveled pair of scissors or shears and a convex edge, and I'm going to check the bevel first. Are they cutting dry tissue? Yes, this is single ply toilet paper. I'm wetting it. I'm going to see how it cuts the wet tissue. And I'm using, as you notice, I'm pulling my thumb out and I'm using the least pressure possible. And it's cutting good. There's not too much of a problem. It seems to be doing okay. Let's see how it cuts hair. I'm looking for these shears. I'm looking that they don't push. They have a nice crisp cut. And there's a little bit of a push um, about maybe a quarter of an inch from the tip. I don't know if you can see that in this video, but there is a little bit of push. I kind of suspect this is because of the ride that was put on these scissors. Now, when I send out these bevel edge scissors, uh, usually I'm sending them out to see whether the sharpener overdoes it. If you take them apart and try to put a ride line on a pair of scissors that aren't honed, that aren't designed for a ride line, it will not cut as well as if you just do the simplest basic parts of sharpening. So what I'm looking at here, and I'm going to show in the magnifier here, is you'll see the ride line has a really wide area right here near the tip. Now it's probably out of alignment what caused that, but regardless, these should not have been taken apart. The inside edge should not have been worked. You see how the tip is wiped out and the other area is wide? They're probably out of set, but they're out of set working together. And these are actually Pakistan-made scissors. They're made by Fromm. I'm marking the areas here. And you've got to know sometimes less is more in these type of scissors. And that's what I'm evaluating. When I'm checking um, our shears that come in for certification and come in for evaluation, I'm looking at them, um, well right now what I've noticed here is the burr at the very tip, maybe about three millimeters, that an edge was not reached, that there's not a burr there. And that's critical. Now it's still cut, but you don't have a consistent, um, you don't have a consistent angle and edge all the way down the shears. Um, as I said, what I'm doing here is if, I'm acting as if you were an employee that I just hired and I'm evaluating your sharpening and I'm looking at things that should be improved or should be corrected so that I'm not getting complaints from my customers. Now I'm working on the convex edge. I'm cutting dry tissue and it cuts okay. I'm going to wet the tissue and I'm sorry I'm a little out of frame here. I didn't have eyes in the back of my head as I was working but um, oh picked up the wrong shears. There we go. Uh, I'm cutting the wet tissue, and you can't see it here, but it's cutting the wet well. I'm double checking that tip. And now I'm going to try it on hair. And blonde hair sometimes works better than other colors as far as seeing the whole cut and how it behaves and how it performs. And once again, I'm sorry I'm out of the frame as I'm videotaping this. But it's cutting hair. It's got a little bit of push, but um, uh, it's not it's not bad. It, it is cutting. So these shears, I would say, both of them are cutting the are are passing the cut test, which is the primary. If they didn't pass for whatever reason, I mean, they would totally be you know let's let's go back to basics. <laughs> um, so I'm writing the evaluation. What I'm seeing here. Um, it, that it it does grab the hair a little bit at the tip and you couldn't see that but there's like one hair that it grabs at the tip now I'm pretending like I'm slide cutting and I you can't really see it in this video but it's definitely grabbing and crunching through the hair as I'm slide cutting it's not a smooth slide cut so it does not slide cut well a stylist could slide cut with it but their clients would probably be saying ow ouch so I'm checking it. There's something doesn't feel right. It doesn't have a smooth feel to the blade. Um, that's one of the things that a hairstylist would send it back. Maybe if it pulled at the tip, they wouldn't mind. But if it doesn't feel like when it was new. Now this is a new one, 
and I'm just kind of comparing how a new one feels and how this one feels. It just has a crunchy feel. Now I'm checking the adjustment. Maybe the adjustments weren't making the difference. Nope, the adjustment's completely the same. So when a chair doesn't feel smooth, it's almost always the ride line. And it is in this case. The ride line at the back is um, a little pitted. It looks like you didn't take enough metal off of the shear. Um, both sides are the same way. It's smooth and shiny uh, about halfway down, but the part near the closest to the pivot, the first um, inch or so, is rough looking. And I'm not sure if you can see this in this magnifier, but it's just not a nice looking ride line at the back. Um, but I'm seeing that the ride line is in the correct position. It appears that the pressure was put over the pivot hole instead of the center of the blade. I don't see a ride up the back. So, I mean, the, the positioning of your fingers when you're doing the ride looks like they're correct. It's just maybe it wasn't worked hard enough. Maybe it just wasn't, uh, uh, maybe you needed a coarser, um, a, a coarser stone. Now, Here's a real concern to me. It's a beveled edge. This was supposed to be convex. Now I know the shears when they come to you had a little semi bevel on them. Little um, We call it semi convex or micro bevel. But now the bevel's much wider. A lot of times when you get shears they're going to have a bevel on them and what I was wanting to see here is how you would reconvex that edge. And those these shears are left as a beveled edge. I wanted a convex edge. That's what I was looking for. And if I'm looking really close, it looks like there's a tiny, tiny gap at the tip. Um, I'm going to try to show this here. And it's small. It's small. You see it right there? But that's what was pulling hair at the very, very tip. And this is like the most common mistake I see in sharpening is that there's a little gap at the tip. Now, I'm taking a while looking at these shears and, and seeing if there's anything else I need to notice on them. Um, it looks like too much metal was removed off maybe um, when they were pulled across the plate or however whatever method you use to sharpen. Um, they, there was a little lifting up so that too much metal was taken off at the tip. So I would like to see you redo the convex edge. The bevel edge, we can discuss um, what would be the correct way to do it and um, without having to redo that one. Now, I'm feeling it. It's hard to tell with just your finger what the angle is, but I'm thinking this is a 40 degree angle that um, your the test um, answer on the correct angle or the best angle also gave me a hint on this. Now, it's not rounded over. It is sharp. So, uh, and there's no burr left on the outside or anything, but it is a beveled edge, and I was wanting a convex edge. Uh, good things is your adjustment was correct, it did cut, and as I said, it wasn't over polished. 